Taoiseach Sinn Féin does not have confidence in Dara O'Brien as Housing Minister. The opposition in this doll does not have confidence in the Housing Minister. And more importantly, the people do not have confidence in the Housing Minister. How could they? How could they have confidence in a Housing Minister who, with a straight face, says that we do not have a housing emergency? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Minister who has turned to denial when the consequences of his failures are writ large in the everyday lives of people. People who, despite doing everything right, still cannot put a secure, affordable roof over their heads. It's been three long years since the last election. And you said that you would be the government to fix housing. You sang that from the rooftops. You, Taoiseach, spent those years telling us that housing is the number one priority for government. Well, if that were true, we should have seen real action, ambition, urgency from Minister O'Brien. But have we seen those things? No, we have not. We have abject failure from a tired government and a housing minister clearly out of his depth. Dar O'Brien has simply recycled the types of policies that got us into this mess in the first place, putting the interests of big developers, wealthy investors and corporate landlords ahead of those in housing need every time. Of course, this minister is just the latest in a long line of Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael housing ministers wedded to the belief that in the end the market will solve the emergency. And it's the people who live with the dire consequences of that approach. Record house prices, record rent, record homelessness. That's the reality of this government's housing legacy. That's Dara O'Brien's legacy as housing minister. And Taoiseach, gaslighting opposition TDs, tarnish that telling desperate young people that the grass isn't always greener. And gentlemen, mindless, delusional, self-pitying guff cannot disguise that fact. Yeah. Yeah. You would imagine that when faced with such a social catastrophe, government should respond with ambitious social and affordable housing programmes. You have been told repeatedly that large-scale public housing is the answer. Only this week, Karen Corla, the EOSRI restated that reality. But what do we get? Well, we get housing targets so out of kilter with the gravity of the emergency that the minister's own officials have rung the alarm bell. We have targets set, targets missed, deadlines set, deadlines missed. That is the performance of this minister in the midst of the most serious housing emergency in the history of the state. Now, a common refrain from this government, reiterated by the Taoiseach and from the Minister, is that housing can't be solved overnight. Well, Taoiseach, Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael have had over a decade to solve housing, and you've only succeeded in making things worse. Not alone has the housing emergency robbed people of the ability to put a roof over their heads, but now it's impacting on education, on healthcare, and on jobs and investment, areas vital to Ireland's progress, prosperity, and success. Teachers and healthcare workers throughout Ireland are struggling to find affordable housing. Schools and hospitals are struggling to recruit and retain staff and school children and patients are the ones paying the price. As a result of government failure, many teachers and nurses have simply given up. We're now losing them to the chance of a better life abroad. Business organisations now tell us that the lack of a coherent direction from government on housing is turning off investors. Reports from chambers of commerce in counties like Waterford contain case studies of people turning down good jobs with good salaries because they cannot find an affordable place to live. The Tanishta, Leo Varadkar himself has admitted that the housing crisis has placed the regional enterprise plan in real jeopardy. So there you have it, a housing emergency, healthcare affected, education affected, in, in investment and jobs affected, and it goes on and on. And this contagion has happened because successive governments have stood back and hidden behind excuses. 
First, you couldn't fix housing because of the international financial crisis and the crisis here designed by your good selves. Then it was Brexit. Then it was the pandemic. And now you say you can't fix housing because of the inflationary crisis. Well, people aren't naive. We all know that these developments brought challenges for sure, but those were challenges to be met with ambition and determination, not difficulties to be hidden behind by a government to cop out of its responsibilities. The common denominator in this never-ending housing crisis is the presence of a Fianna Fáil or a Fine Gael-led government with a Fianna Fáil or a Fine Gael housing minister. And an entire generation has come of age listening to your jaded excuses and your broken promises. And they are sick of a government talking about the construction of houses that they will never be able to afford. Sick of walking past blocks of fancy apartments that they will never ever live in. So, locked out of affordable housing, locked out of opportunity by the policies of your government, our young people now look to the airports and to life in Toronto or Boston or Sydney. And we are now losing again our greatest resource, another generation raised for export. Forced emigration is back with us again, not because of fear, famine or recession, but because of, a of the housing emergency. Because Dara O'Brien has been a housing minister for more of the same. Because Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael refuse to change. Well, our people need change like never before. And nowhere is this more urgent than in the area of housing. And I want to say very clearly that this emergency, this catastrophe, it doesn't have to be this way. I believe, indeed, I know with the right policies that housing can be fixed. I believe the homes our people need can be delivered and that we can give this generation the chance to build a good life here in Ireland. But that means the largest social and affordable housing programme the state has ever seen. That means cutting rents by putting a month's rent back into tenants' pockets and banning rent increases for at least three years backed up by a far more ambitious tenant in situ scheme. It means a real strategy for bringing thousands of vacant and derelict homes back into use. It means an emergency plan to reduce the numbers of people and families presenting as homeless and to speed up people's exit from emergency accommodation. These are the ambitious actions our people need. That is what a Sinn Féin-led government would deliver. But war on Tubishta a Feimacht Dara O'Brien mar ara tihiakta. Is say an Iraqt a ta ega no na freisna tihe is orja riv, na kiesena is orja, and lean is mo dini gandidon agus gluen imiha harlar. Ton gar came tihiakta, koskapia nish gwilche, a kurischak er kurum slancha, er idjikus. August er Aknamiacht, is lower a shin, Kahi on Tara Tihiacht Imacht, August Bakyart than Realtis Tepehisha, a Wally, a Fakal Lesh, Ta Old Tawakon, a Tastal Uin. Dar O'Brien has now been in office for two and a half years. It's two and a half years too long. Because on every level, by which you might judge the performance of a housing minister, he has failed to get the job done. And in any other job, in any other walk of life, he would have been sacked by now. He needs to go. But let me say this, Please. and say it very clearly, Count Corla, this goes far beyond one minister. The longer Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael are in power, the worse the housing crisis gets. Here, here. Housing was the test for this government, and three years on from the election, they have failed that test spectacularly. The housing crisis is now so bad that it's undermining our health system, our education system, and the economy, whilst also pushing another generation of young Irish people to emigrate. So our people simply cannot afford for this mess to go on any longer. Not only do we need a change of housing minister, we need a change of government. We need 
a general election. Yeah, yeah, yeah.